survey there. Sabadi. Sabadi, Sabadi. Ah, what do we have here? I'll take some chocolate biscuits. No nest cafe ball. Got one fifty. I'll take a couple of those. I'll duck over to the other corner shop too. They got any? They got petrol too. They got petrol. See if they've got any birdie, any nice cafe or dow. I'm not fussy as long as it's caffeine. Oh, hello, Sabadi. <laughs> um, you have that yen? Five. No cold in the fridge. Got Jay Lele. Okay. Gonna... It's not cold, but it's not warm. And it is that black one, the ice long black that I seen last night. I wanted to try. That is a that that is pretty good. Given the choice, I think I would get this over the other ones. I'll put it in the fridge for the people designing cars continue to do that cup holder directly in front of the air conditioner surprisingly how cool it keeps them it is just like a fridge and that's what Nina and myself refer to them as put it in the fridge can you please love Stubborn cows here, they won't move. Watch. No, nah, nah, I'm not moving. You can friggin' go around me. Even the little ones. No shits given. Nearly as stubborn as you, honey. Huh? Nearly as stubborn as you. <laughs> A lot of the mag teams out today. Searching for the UXOs. They're all over the place. An American flag on them. And their uniforms and that. But where is this plane of jars site? My skin. Mm. Oh. Look like um Look like grapes. Mm. What we eat? Plums. Mm. Very nice. Tastes like, it does taste like plum. You can eat on. Yeah. Mm. So that's that. Oh, so mm. nice. <laughs> I like that. So it tastes plum. like plums that are <laughs> that big. Mm. But they're just little ones. Oh, mm. so that's that. Nice. I'll have one more. Mm. Mm. I know this one, but that one, I don't know. Plums in blueberry size. Well, right. this is caretaker site too, who's, as soon as we turned up, offer us a feed of mini plums. Is it far up the hill? Have we got to go? We can driving up. We can drive? Okay. Okay, there is a farang price at this one. She's looked at me and gone, you sip pun, uh, ha pun. So, <laughs> Nini gets it ha pun cheaper, five, um, 50 cents cheaper. Here than the last one, both of us was sip pun, one dollar each. So I'm no more expensive than the last one. Nini gets a discount. Oh, well, the big game out, and is that right? <laughs> That's okay. Oh, 
That's okay. Okay, Lelai. Why is that for Lelai? That's for that. <laughs> for all of it that she's eating. Yep. I'll have one more. Look at them, look. Cup, Lelai. You can take away. Look at them, look. What tree do they grow on? Oh. What, which, hmm? what, where's the tree that these grow on, Nene? The tree what? What tree? Uh, is it a big tree? Okay. Yeah, big tree. Yeah. Never seen them before. Very sweet. They are very similar to a not a juicy plum, plum a pasty sort of plum. Okay, guys, we are now at site two. It's taken us a while to find it. It is hard to find if you're coming in the back way. There is no sign. Pont Savan, right there, site one. The village we're staying at is about here. We've come in the back way because there's a waterfall over here. There used to be a waterfall over there. It's not bloody there but now. Don't worry about going there. A lot of lazy, stubborn cows on this back road. Watch out for the cows. Oh, no, we've got to shake your tail feather. Um, it's after two o'clock. We still want to go visit this spoon village. Total of 93 jars here. 14 discs. I didn't see any discs at the other one. I wasn't really looking either. There we go for me readers. Something crawling on me ear. There's one through there, just lying down. The first one I've spotted. First crater I've spotted too. Since being here, site two. Okay. These look like they're up under some old gnarly trees. Oh wow, look at that. Okay. All these insects buzzing around my lens there. Eh? Now this looks like an ancient site, doesn't it? And some big ones. Wow. How cool is this site? If you are coming to Ponsavan to visit these, do not do what we did last time and think you've seen one site, you've seen them all, and we just stopped at one. These are much more impressive, just the setting that these these fellas are in. Look at the colour in this. I take that, that that's a big disc, big lid. And holding water very well. It's full of. of one there half buried look at these babies wow. that's a monster isn't it freak mozzies has been digging here to agree with the locals on this one. Site 2 does win the POJ stakes, the plane of jars stakes. Just for how cool they look. It 
it does look like an authentic ancient ruined site. If I was to choose anywhere um, sites to go to and you could not go too far, I'd come here to Mung Pasai and see two and three. Like you just spend ages just walking around viewing these at different angles. It's so it's the beauty of them. Look at that. Hear that alarm? They're gonna let go of some ordnance, I bet. Wait for the boom. Well we count down to 30 seconds or a minute, I don't know but that's what that alarm is, I'm sure. But look at this site. How cool is this? How spooky this would be at night. The bomb holes, yeah, I seen the bomb holes. Yeah, big bomb holes. You know, the, this, this friend of jazz, they break. It's not because of the war. Because what is it? of bomb. Yeah. Bomb over there. <laughs> but the bombs are because of the war. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not break down because uh, of, of no old bomb age. Yeah. yeah. Is no. that a disc? Or is it no. part of a. Has the tree grown around one? Yeah. I think the tree has grown out of it. Check that out. Green, yeah. The tree has grown out of it. Yeah, green in the in the in the middle. Before in the small one. Charge that tree with vandalism, I think. Yeah, look at this. How about that? Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Because What a find. That's why it's very old. This one's fairly thick, eh? The spiders love it. No wonder, it's a breeding ground for, for mozzies. They've got their nets set up to catch them. So yeah, a lot of breakages. You can see by how thick they are. It isn't from weathering. It's not, it's from being hit. Bombs. Or as Nene would say, by bombs. <laughs> not bombs. Yep. This one's been cuddled by the tree. Ooh, it's a fair crater that one, ain't it? That's it, that is it, we're making a move. Still got a couple of places to see. Um, I was asked an interesting question. Somebody commented, when wandering around like we do, looking around off the beaten path, don't I get worried about stepping on unexploded ordnance, UXL bombs, things like that? But isn't it in in the back of my mind? Nah, it's it's not. When I see signs and that, I do think of them. But I guess it's no different than I could ask you the quest, the same question. Living in the US. Don't you, aren't you scared walking the streets that you're going to be shot? You know, there's so many bombs still here, unexploded. There's so many weapons in the US. It's it's no different. It's not something that's in the, that you're always worrying about. If you're always worrying about it, you're not going to be enjoying yourself. I'm pretty sure the, there's people get killed far more often from other things around the world than what they do of stepping on a bomb. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It does happen. People are still maimed here. But and we aren't go we really have never been in areas that somebody else hasn't trodden before. Get off there. Not saying it can't happen. Bombies and things get washed up all the time during wet weather and found. Big bomb crater here. There goes the siren again. 
see if we can hear it go off past a heap of guys down there sweeping the place with metal detectors the siren went off not long ago at 20 minutes ago did not hear an explosion but yes you know it is the most bombed country in the world there are a shit ton of ordnance still lying around it's not something I I'm constantly thinking about while while we're here traveling doing things like this no nah, that's we wouldn't enjoy ourselves would not at all site three um, site two would have to have the worst mosquito plague in the world there <laughs> that would don't forget the air guard guys don't forget your mozzie repellent why because those big vessels jars just full of water breeding ground for mozzies the spiders there love them setting their nets over the top of the jars Mate. I'm hoping some of those mozzies don't have dengue <laughs> what is dengue? dengue fever oh. yeah or song river fever oh. commonly known in Australia as Ross River fever where is Ross River? I've heard it. I know of the sickness, but what state is Ross River in? I'm sure some of you know. This area is being cleared for unexploded ordnance by Mag Laos. Do not enter any roped off areas. Just as I've turned the camera off, there was a couple of ginger buffalo. Not blondies. Not the big grey ones, a couple of ginger ninjas. Now orangey yellow. So th this is just one place, Mr. La making spoons. They haven't got his telephone number there, the Barn Napier. Couple of superheroes here, Spidey and Superman. Um, there's a few houses. This was just our first stop. Yeah. They actually... He's got his kiln, kiln there. Melts these shell casings down and turns them into spoons. I'm sure I've shown them at the night markets before. I've even bought little souvenirs for my family in that back home they make it says making spoons but there's a lot of little trinkets that they do melt the aluminium down into and put them in a mold and sell sell them to make money from it obviously not working today we will carry on i want to come across a village where the houses are up on these things like this shed is what is today? Today's Friday. He's ducked into the pub early, I bet. Hello, Sabadi. Very similar to the Poo Thai homes here. This is another place that that makes it. <laughs> Hello, Hello Sabadi. <laughs> ah, okay. The bomb girl. <laughs> so who makes them? <laughs> does, does, does she make them or? Yeah, they do too. Yeah? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty bomb makers. No <laughs> mate. <laughs> Oh. They're, they're not really war spoons now, are they? War spoons? Well, they're not. If they're being made from this sort of stuff, that's not like from... It is getting scarcer and scarcer, the, the, the shell casings, and they're getting good money for them for, for restaurants and things like that. 
these are some of the things I've seen at the market. Bottle top, bottle openers, peace signs, your spoons. Um, I've got a little bomb for Luke, I'm pretty sure. Luke and Brandon, his sons. This is from bomb. How how do you, how can you tell the difference if it's from bomb or not? This should be the bomb only. Yeah, yeah, cannot, yeah that, that's right. This, this cannot. It have some some kind of spoon only. This. Okay. But like that should be from bomb. <laughs> From these parts of the bombs, yeah, these are steel. These are they don't make them out of the bombies, of course. And these are made from bombs, are they? So a dollar just for a bracelet. Carbon like this can can make from this, but like this. But these like that, it cannot. You, bomb bomb only. Yes, it should be. I'm just. So, is it more expensive for them to get the bombs now to find the bombs? Is it harder? Yeah, yeah. It's very expensive yeah. right now. Yeah. And the key hand and you and Tampu Tampani man me like Pot Hamet Hau Kip and my wife don't need Hana. Let your nipple soup, but I love and paying up. Yeah, now it's very expensive. Yeah, because they're getting it, scarce. They have a lot. Yeah, even though there's a lot of unexploded ordnance scattered throughout, littered throughout the country, the big shell casings, they have been used a lot and are much sought after now for ornaments in restaurants and things like that. We've got a couple out the front of our restaurant and not all of them are aluminium either so it is getting harder and harder for them to source out the the aluminium uh, put them around your neck <laughs> so the, she was saying for the bracelets the good quality bracelets yeah they are made out of the bombs but the the spoons and that can be and little trinkets can be made from the just any scrap aluminium they're doing. Puan is Aulung. Okay. She is Puan. Puan. Yeah, Thai Puan. Thai Puan. The, the same Aulung. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sun Sat Aulung. Bye. Puan. Sun Pao Puan. Sun Sat Aulung. Hello, Sabaydi. Oh, Sabaydi. Oh, I'm not going to go. Where are you going? No, he's finished for the day, has he? Another one. Oh, he's got the furnace going. It is going. Oh, and making spoons here. Oh. Cup chai, cup chai. Thank you. This looks like sheep metal off an airplane, doesn't it? This is from airplane. Yeah. Inside is from the bomb. Uh, it's too dark. Can't see a thing. So these. Do they melt these down? Yes. Yeah. All of this gets melted down. And I'm going to say bomb, It's all this from bomb. Yeah, not just the, the bombs themselves, it is just any scrap left over from the wall, the planes. <laughs> so this is aluminium, is it? Aluminium. Aluminium. Okay. Yeah. I thought they were steel, the, the way some of them are rusted and that. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Recognize that. 
And yeah, it's like the bottom B hole. fins on oh, them, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's not exactly thin. <laughs> they would make yeah lots of spoons out of that. Okay. Mm. Is it hard for him to find this now? Does, does he go looking himself or does he buy off other people? So many have to. Yes, buy from other people. Other people yeah. let you know that look yeah. what I've found. Okay. Yeah. How's dinner going over here? Yeah. Ah, okay. What's she dipping it into? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, a a mutant spoon. Oh, it looks really easy. It's got a hole in it. <laughs> does does that happen often? Does that happen a lot? And they just chuck it back in. How do they stop that from happening? How do they stop it from happening? Getting holes in slowly, not very fast. Not hot enough, okay, it doesn't flow real good. Okay, there we go, a good spoon. How many spoons a day would they make? Six hundred or seven hundred. Yeah. So just this is what they do all day. Ah, head me order. If have order. Yeah. From the market or some people want. Okay. They do. Yeah. It's not hot enough. Okay. Yeah. The hotter it is, the easier it would flow. And yeah. Say had to but they had like a man lip line up. It cools pretty quick, doesn't it? Okay. Say we like the top of it. Say don't but they talk long loud. Talk long loud. Man, I see bed. Ah, we got a good one there. Yeah. Okay. That's how it's done. Is it only spoons these people make? Do they make anything else? Oh yeah, they've got bangles over there. Yeah. Is it just in Laos their orders or do they get orders from overseas? Yeah. For example, in the souvenir thing, something like that. Yeah, who from overseas? What countries overseas order? USA. Of course, of the USA, they want their bloody aluminium back. Has she ever burnt herself? What they, what they do, got in more for me. Or, 
Oh. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Cooking. Yeah. 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 So this mold, what is the mold made out of? Kitao. 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 What? Form the. Ah, uh, it's just like. Yeah. How and how dang fine. Yeah. Very small. Oh. It's good up now. Wow. Yeah. You see that sink down in there then. These are the little sort of trinkets I've seen at the market. The last guitar. Sipan. Nung Sipan Kip. One is just one dollar. But he's, he's seen me and brought me a bottle top. He knows what us Farangs are like trying to open their bloody beer loud here. We're always asking for bottle tops where they just use two bottles. Yeah, I just asked whether this was uh, like a tourist destination. People people are fine to come out here and watch them work. Like they had finished it the other day, having a break, and they've kicked it back up just to show us. And she, she's going hammering tongs into it. Hammering spoons, more like it. I just asked whether this was their their only business or were they farmers also? Uh, the main thing is for the garden, for farm garden. Okay. Yeah. This is just like second this job. Second job. When they finish the farm work. They will do this for a little while. Okay. Thank you very much, Cup Jada. Uh, always wondered where they came from. Now I know. When I see them in Vientiane night markets, yeah. I think of you. <laughs> An interesting fact about it is they're all self self taught. They are the next generation of people. The generation before them had all this scrap lying around and started melting it down to use it in the kitchen just for around the home and things like that. And it was um today's generation that thought they could um maybe make things out of it and sell it at markets and you see these things all overnight markets throughout Lao and as he said yeah you know, he's got buyers from the US Italy there was another one but yeah overseas buyers and that just and not all of it now is from bombs these days it is getting scarce but uh, it's good to see they can have another industry um, other than their farming and that you know that they can they can do out of their backyard you know what I mean and there is an interest in an interest for it you know people are actually buying it I think it's mainly an acknowledgement to what happened you know and that is the importance of the aluminium these days not necessarily whether it is genuine or not you know but you know what I mean how many how many bloody spoons did you buy? Ten. 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 What was it? What's that? Ten dollars. No. One dollar for ten. Is it? Yeah. And it was one dollar for one bottle yeah. opener. Ah, buang dai I I should have just bought one it's spoon and turned that into a bottle top opener. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, 10 spoons for a dollar but that's you know what wow. why it's expensive what, that's a loud map no oh, okay and yeah. is, it, is it genuine bomb <laughs> yeah a bomb are you sure sure okay i'll believe it yeah. In a clear flash in yeah. okay stag so under is just from yeah a spoon they get it made for another thing from sliding door frames this from the real shit learned the language of the mockingbird she took out and twisted all my words yeah I'm just trying to find my way and I'll meet you in the graveyard in the winter.
winter tree and a star.